Hey guys, it's Christine from First Updates Now, and I'm here with Team 195 at the Central New York Regional, and we are so excited to interview Team 195 from Southington, Connecticut, and have them talk a little bit about their robot. Um, this is Walter. So Walter, what's the name of your robot this year? Uh, our robot is called the Night Owl. And is there a particular reason for that? Um, because we have, uh, on the front here, our hatch and take uh, looks very similar to a beak, and also uh, we have a turret on our robot, which rotates uh, 360 degrees in both directions, which allows us to access all four sides of our robot with both mechanisms to uh, maximize cycle time and improve the design of the robot. Um, so because of our ability to turn around just like an owl does, we decided to name the robot the Night Owl this year. That's pretty awesome. So one unique thing that I see about your robot is that the turret is actually around the elevator, so the elevator itself doesn't move, correct? Yeah, the base of the elevator is stationary and a cross member in the drive base, so nothing, none of the actual members or stages of the elevator move, but the, instead the carousel rotates around the elevator. That's pretty amazing. So what else do you guys want to show us about your really crazy awesome robot? So we have Ryan here who's gonna talk to us about the... The climber, it's uh, probably the most interesting part of the robot other than the turret. Because the way we have to constrain our design is being able to have everything low enough that it doesn't interfere with the turret at all, but also flip up so we get head free. So the way it works is we drive it off the PTO. Do you want to zoom in on the, the gearbox? It's actually all on a PTO inside the frame and it shifts. This PTO actually drives the back climber. But what happens is the racks flip up when they're driven and then push down. And then on the, the front of the robot is entirely different because it's with pulleys and goes with the, the front intake arm. So the wheels will actually flip and rotate. It's hard to show because it's just lo locked in the climbing position right now. But they'll flip down from here. And then the PTO is driven off this pulley and it pulls down and it'll lift up the entire front of the robot. And then with the gyroscope, it's all automated, so we just press one button and hold it, and then we climb to level three. So that's pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to have the, the cameraman zoom in over here, because you can see the string that's, like, yeah, running down uh, through the arm, around through the robot. The left, this is it's 2019, and we have some elite teams still stringing robot, or string in, on their robot, so that's pretty amazing. So you guys are doing pretty well, considering that you took this robot out of the bag and it needed a lot of work. Um, so tell me about how you're doing at Central New York now that your qualification matches have wrapped up. So Ryan, you want to talk about that? Yeah. So the first three matches were very rough because we this is the first time the robot touched the ground. We didn't even get to run it before bag and tag. And by I say match four, we started getting all of our kinks out. And at this point, we're at a fairly high level of play. But I know we can still improve, which is really just like it's comforting to know that we still have a lot of potential to reach. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. So where are you guys competing after this weekend? What's next for you guys? Uh, Western New England and then Hartford and then hopefully New England champs and the Worlds. Well, I think we'll definitely see them there. So reporting live from the Central New York Regional, um, this has been awesome. Keep an eye out for 195 this season and their robot. And thanks for watching. We need your help to keep fun at Loud, Live, and Independent.